Every fan down in Broncos country liked Christmas a lot, but the Grinch, who lived just east of there, really did not. This Grinch used to love Christmas, just not this season. Don't ask why, no one quite knows the reason. It could be, perhaps, where she lives there's no snow, but it's likely because her Broncos are not 14-0. Maybe it's because her team has no O-line, or that the QB thinks everything will be just fine. Perhaps the reason for this particularly bad mood is the offensive coordinator is not a smart dude. But maybe the reason, as her team goes to Arrowhead, is the lack of a run game, not even a shred. Staring at the standings with a big grinchy frown, she's not even sure the team can score a touchdown. But she knew every Bronco hanging out in Dove Valley was busy getting ready with the playbook and trying to be ready. And she started thinking, what will I do? With two rivals left, what if the Broncos go 0 and 2? And she growled with her Grinch fingers nervously typing, even our own defense is angry and griping. On Christmas they'll play with such reckless abandon until our QB throws a first interception. And then, oh, the noise at Arrowhead! The noise, noise, noise! Ah, there's one thing I hate. It's that noise, 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 noise. Those Chiefs fans will shriek, squeaks, and squeals, racing around on their wheels. They'll dance with Jing Tinglers tied on their heels. They'll blow their flu flubers. They'll bang their tartukas. They'll whap their hoo hoopers. They'll bash their gardukas. They'll spin their trumtukas. They'll slam their slew slunkers. They'll beat their blum bloopas. They'll wham their hoo wonkas. But then, Oh, the Broncos' defense will sit down and feast. They'll take out Smith, Ware, Macklin, Kelsey, Tyreek. And that defense, oh, they'll feast, 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 feast. They'll feast on Macklin pudding and savory Kelsey treats. They'll grab Tyreek Hill and drag him down by his feet. And then the defense will do what it really does best. It will sack the QB and lay him down to rest. Derek Wolf will howl and Von Miller will dance and suddenly Arrowhead will be in a trance as they watch Miller dance and dance, 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 dance. So the more the Grinch thought of this Broncos Chiefs game, the more she thought, offense, please don't ruin this thing. Why, for 14 games I've put up with it now. I must stop the offense from failing. Must stop it, but how? And she got an idea, an awful idea. The Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea. I know just what to do. The Grinch laughed in her throat. Make a quick Santa Claus hat and a coat. And she chuckled and clucked. What a great Grinchy trick. With this coat and this hat, I'll look just like Saint Nick. So on the night before Christmas, all dressed in her suit, the Grinch grabbed the playbook and drew up some juice. She added some bootlegs and toss sweeps, no doubt. Threw in a flea flicker, fake punt, and multiple crossing routes. Forset was listed as the unequivocal starter. More running plays were added, and these were much smarter. No way this offense fails, she was grinchily humming, and the Chiefs will have no idea what is coming. They'll be thinking, oh, it's Simeon, he'll definitely pass. So we'll dove double cover the left side and sprint down the grass. But these new plays will run to the left, to the right, and right up there at Vanish. Ah, that's a scene, grinned the Grinch. I simply must see. She paused and then she got down on her knee. And she said a little prayer to the heavens above. Please, football gods, please show my Broncos some love. So game time arrived and the coin was flipped. Broncos got the ball, and the Grinch bit her lip. But this offense wasn't so bad. Why, this offense was making her glad. Every lineman was blocking, and Forsett got the ball. He was running and juking like it was protocol. The Grinch didn't need to fret and worry so much. In fact, that's just lack of imagination and such. So the Grinch, with her Grinch feet dancing up a storm, stood in front of the TV wondering if AP was a shit storm. Oh, what a Christmas this turned out to be. Broncos are winning and the Chiefs are panicky. 
But then the Grinch thought, what if the Broncos can't do this? And it occurred to her, such thinking was ludicrous. Of course they can win, but it will be a battle. So get behind this team and quit getting rattled. Maybe football, she thought, doesn't require such uproar. Maybe this game, and especially this team, means a little bit more. And what happened then? Well, in Broncos country, they say, that the Grinch's orange and blue heart grew seven times that day. And the true meaning of fandom came rolling right through, and the Grinch found the strength of four linebackers plus two. And now that her heart didn't feel quite so tight, she cheered and she cheered without any fright, because this is her team, no matter the outcome. Come hell or high water, or to leave with a shotgun. The AFC West is still in our grasp. It's not a sure thing and will be quite a task. But this is Broncos football, always quite a ride. Postseason or no, there's never a downside. They will make great catches and get sacks galore. And a few cute pick sixes just to even the score. And if there's a season that doesn't end just right, we'll pull out Super Bowl 32 DVDs and call it a night. Nice. Because this is Broncos country, where we bleed orange and blue, and our number of Lombardies is one more than two. Merry Christmas, Broncos country!